let me introduce how to show table data in WordPress posts or pages. We can create a table or import from a file with this plugin. A created table is saved as a short code for displaying on a post or page. Let's get started. Go to the plugin add new menu. Search for table press, install and activate it. Go to the table press menu. Let me create an example table list of countries by population on Wikipedia. Go to the add new tab. Write down the table name and description. Enter a number of rows and columns in the table. Press add table button to create a table. Enter titles on the first row. Enter ranking numbers on the first column. Fill in the rest of the table. After entering the data, click the Save Changes button. And copy the short code to show this table. Go to the Post menu and create a new post. Press the plus icon and select short code. Paste the copied short code. Enter the title and save. Let's check it on the front end. Sorting is performed by clicking on the table column title. Go to the table press menu. There is a new table post we just created. We can manage table like posts here. Add, edit or delete a table post. Click the edit button to edit the created table. We can add images to the table column, like Wikipedia table. Let's add some flag image. To add an image to a column, go to the table manipulation section below the table. Press the insert image button. An outline is added to the button. In this state, click the column to add an image. Then, the media library window will pop up, where we can add images. Let's check it on the front end. The images has been added to the column. But the image size is too big, we need to resize. Let me change the image size to 30 by 30 pixels. Click on the column and change both the width and height of the image tag to 30. We can expand edit box by dragging. Let's check it on the front end. Well done, the image is resized perfectly. Go to the Import tab. As you can see, this is a data made in Excel, list of countries by population. Let me show you how to import this file. Click the Choose File button and select an Excel file. Click the Import button. Then, the contents of the Excel file are loaded into the table. For large amounts of data, it is efficient to use import in this way. Copy the table's shortcode. Let's change the first table to the second table. Let's refresh, then we can see the imported data from an Excel file. By default, 10 rows are displayed per page. We can move page by clicking the previous and next links at the bottom. As you can see, 
some overlap problems on the right. In this case, you need to adjust the number of columns, remove the sidebar, or change some CSS. On the top left of the table, you can select the number of rows to be displayed. On the top right, there is a search box. As you can see, it is updated in real time. Go back to the menu. Now we can see the two tables we created in the list. 